Okay, boys and girls, this is just a very, very small review of yesterday's lesson in Math Topic 2-3. Our essential question is, how can I find the total number of objects in a set of rows and columns? Okay, so we spent a long time talking about this in our last lesson, and this is just a very, very quick review. Okay, so in this unit, there are some new words that we need to learn. One of them is array. Array is what you see with these white circles here. Okay, it's just a set of columns and rows. Nothing sticks out. A row is what you see here. Okay, objects going from left to right. A column is right here with objects being arranged from top to bottom, vertically. And then finally, repeated addition. Repeated addition is when we add something again and again. So if I were to add these columns, I would do 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. You see how we're adding the same number over and over again? If I were to add the rows, it would be a little bit different. It would be 4, because there are 4 in that row, plus 4, plus 4. Okay? And when we have a big addition problem like this, we break it up. First, we do 3 plus 3. That's 6. And then let's bring down that next 3. 6 plus 3 is 9. And we still have one more 3 hanging out. 9 plus 3 equals 12. Okay, and if we add it the other way with these 4s, 4 plus 4 plus 4, we would still get 12. So when we have an array, we always have two different ways of adding. Okay, now let's listen to someone else explain it. You can model repeated addition to find the total with an array. Arrays have equal rows. In an array, each row has the same number of objects. How many strawberries are in each row of this array? Select your answer. Each row has three strawberries. Arrays have equal columns. In an array, each column has the same number of objects. How many strawberries are in each column of this array? Select your answer. Each column has two strawberries. You can use repeated addition to write two equations that match the array. With repeated addition, you add the same number again and again. Two rows have three strawberries each. You can add the berries in each row to find the total number of berries in the array. You can count by rows. The equation that you write is 3 plus 3 equals 6. Three columns have two strawberries each. You can add the berries in each column to find the total number of berries in the array. Or you can count by columns. The equation that you write is 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6. What is the same in these two equations? The two equations have the same sum. There are six strawberries in the array. Now you know how to use an array to find the total.
Okay, everyone, so now that you've had a couple of videos and you've already had one lesson of practice, your work for today is the additional practice book, not the textbook, the additional practice book, pages 25 and 26. And that's it. Good luck working with arrays, and I can't wait till we do the next lesson. I think these are fun. The end.